Hey Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551, and we are back with Michigan breakdown videos for basketball. Week 13 to week 20, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is probably the worst performance that I have ever seen out of our team since last year where we did not make the uh, March Madness tournament and went into the NIT tournament, lost in the second round of that tournament, and ultimately, I think it's just time to move on from Jawan Howard. The Sharon Moore for football looks pretty solid and stuff. That looks fine. But for this to have a 7-13 and 13 record, you know, not to have a great record, and ultimately um, there is no culture, there's no passion for this program of college basketball anymore. You made it to five sweet 16s. You have final four appearances left and right. You have Big Ten championships 2017-2018 back-to-back. And when you expect that, from a team coached by Coach Beeline, you expect your team to continue to compete and have great recruits and stuff. And now people just don't want to go here because they don't have that same coach. That's what I'm afraid with college football, that because Jim Harbaugh was there, people want to go to that college. Now, we won the national championship, so it's possible we get a lot of recruits and be very aggressive with it. But I think that even one of the former players of Michigan said, these kids have no respect or understanding of what it means to put on that M. Haven't felt any kind of passion or love for the game from Michigan basketball in years. And that's how I feel. I have not found that love and passion since 2013 to 2018. You know, I don't really understand how Michigan basketball can fall off this terrible. And, you know, it's some of it is coaching. Some of it is the player execution of the plays. We're running up, trying to shoot threes. What are we shooting threes for? Move the ball around and actually drive and get a bucket, please. And, you know, there's just no passion for anything. And honestly, at this point in the game, at times, I personally believe that I could grab four, four bums off the street and me, and play in the freaking league and be beat Michigan basketball because that's how bad they are and stuff. That's how bad they are. I personally think that I could take five, four of my best friends and me, and I could kick Michigan's ass all over the court with them. I could take five, four guys or five guys from, from my LA Fitness pickup gym that have better and flashier moves and are good or and are better with their handles and everything and are good and stuff and they can shoot from all over the court and potentially could beat Michigan basketball in a 5v5 battle because let me tell you right now this this is not it this is not it the coach needs to be fired uh there there are times where we asked for Jim Harbaugh to be fired I personally didn't I said it's going to take time and stuff but the problem with Jim Harbaugh is he went into a great situation. The team was the team was already failing. The best seasons we had are nine and three seasons and stuff. And you know he had two bad seasons overall and stuff with Michigan in his long career: five and seven at the start in twenty fourteen, and then that two and pitiful four season at, in the COVID year. Other than that, those fluke seasons didn't happen. Then twenty twenty one onward, we've been incredible. You know, a great season. He 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 leaves. With a 77.9 or 0.8 winning percentage, you know, that's incredible. You know, 144 wins, 42 losses as a coach. That's 144 out of 186 and stuff. That's 77 point something percent, which is pretty impressive. What has Jawan Howard done? Absolutely, absolutely fucking nothing. He's done absolutely nothing for this program. There's no dedication. There's no There's no flaw. The, this program is flawed, okay? Bring me your best player, and I will bring you one of my best players that I think from my friends, and you will lose because there is no way that any of you have the ability to win. There's no dedication. There's no passion in the program. There's no aggressive recruiting there's nothing these players don't play well in Jawan Howard's system the coach beeline system and the coach beeline coaching was incredible you know why because he drilled those plays over and over and over again 
when you are recruiting a player, you want believe it, believe it or not, 20 to 30 percent from the three point percentage. If you can find higher than that, that's amazing. But you know what happened when we got Jordan Poole and Trey Burke? We drilled it into those guys because they were point guards and shooting guards and everything. And we just kept, you know, drilling it through them, drilling it through them with Coach Beeline. He knew what players were good at shooting that shot, and he developed those players to shoot those shots when it mattered most to get us in March Madness. Trey Burke, let it fly, baby. Let it fly. Let it fly. And he lets it fly. And we go in and we beat Kansas in overtime in 2013. Unfortunately, that Trey Burke block still haunts me to this day. Jordan Poole, let it fly, baby. Let it fly. Let it fly. Beats Houston, baby. Sayonara, Houston. We're going on to the next game. One time, Hunter Dickinson with a buzzer beater beats Wisconsin. Other than that, Jawan Howard is a failed coach. He is not, repeat, is not a great coach. He will never be a good coach in Michigan. It is time to fire his ass. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I don't even want to break down these games or the stat line because they were so pitiful. We lose like 99 to 68 against um freaking Purdue. We lose 88 to 73. We have a lead against Iowa in the other night and stuff. And we just get freaking blindsided. We blow the lead and then we lose by 10. So I, I don't even understand the game anymore. I'm done with Michigan basketball. I'm sick and tired of it. I don't even want to go through watching a game. I might even I might not even go to the game this year and stuff. I, I thought I was gonna go to Michigan Rutgers and go watch them play and stuff, but they're so pitiful of a team that I know they're gonna fucking lose and stuff because that's how bad they are. That's how bad they are. They can't shoot the ball, they can't win. They play no team spirit, and they can't win in the system that Jawan Howard has. That's all I got to say for it. Until next time, guys, we're going to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one. Go blue, but I'm tired of this shit, and it's frustrating. I I don't know anymore. Five, five years here, four to five fucking years, and Jawan Howard has done absolutely nothing for this program. He had one good season, and he squandered it, where we could have won the national championship in 2021, and he fucked it up. I'm tired of this man. Fire his ass. I want his head on a silver platter. I'm tired of this. That's all I got to say. I'll see you in the next one. Go blue.